Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 How to Start the Farm episode number 8 and today we are getting the soya beans soy beans in so I'm hoping to get at least 100,000 or more off this field as I didn't think we were going to make a lot of money off this but the price at the moment is pretty good see it's climbing it's down at the restaurant it's on 2874 well I did fast forward time and it went up to 2985 so hopefully that's what we're going to be selling the rest of it at. now if we get a hundred thousand off here we should get just under 300 grand which will be nice So they're going to be busy. Right, I'm going to have to cut through. Didn't really want to do that. Don't like driving through crops. Should put um, crop destruction on. That soon stop me doing it. Right, so we're going to make some... Oh, that one is nearly full up as well. Typical it would be, wasn't it? 80% done. And he's on the wrong side, so we're going to have to drive through the crops. Anyhow so as this field is being harvested i want to put cotton in here because i think cotton is going to make us a good four hundred thousand off this field at least pretty sure we're going to get that sort of money and if there's a high demand uh, we get even more for it so we're going to go and now money wise we're down in like 24 grand so we're going to have to borrow some money because i want to lease um, a cultivator which we need a tractor and then we need to get the cedar which I want to use the 12 meter one at least because it's it's gone this is a huge field it's going to take a lot of time but I just want to cut half of it get ha half of it harvested and then we can bring in the other tractors and start cultivating and seeding right he's done but you have got to be careful because if you haven't got anything blocking the way the cultivator will come in and he'll cultivate all these this crop before you've even harvested it so let's go into the shop and we look at planters now planters I think we're just gonna go for this one the Vadastad Tempo L16 because it's 12 meters the other one's nine meters but let's just let's just get it we're gonna lease that for six thousand five hundred and seventy nine so not too bad but we do need 300 horsepower so if you match that with a tractor of about 300 horsepower or more let's get the Massey on I'm going to put wheel weights on it as well and we're going to lease that and we better get a front weight for it I went straight past it that's the one I wanted lease right in there he's fine he's gonna go up there and he's gonna go up there it's a shame I've missed just a little bit and I don't think he's gonna pick that up all up it'd be nice if he did otherwise he's gonna leave such a small area and now he, he's not gonna pick all that is he there's gonna be a tiny little strip left how annoying is that? Yeah, there's always going to be that little strip. Never mind. So, may as well leave him so he's going to not miss any. Right, 
Right, going back to we got the Massey and the Cedar. So let's put that front weight on. Now we're only on five grand, so we're going to need to borrow some money. Fifty grand should be okay. Then we need to go in and buy a cultivator or a disc arrow. We'll go for disc arrow because this is the biggest one which is the 16 meter it does need 400 horsepower but I've used this one for years it's, it's a good nice bit of kit so we need a 400 horsepower trap there 350 and it's gonna be the Magnum standard one would be okay and we're gonna put some wheel weights on that Wheel weights. Lease. And there's the Lemkin Gigant or Gigant, however you want to say it. Now on FS17, these case magnums, this was my workhorse. I used to love this tractor because it was so versatile for doing anything you needed on the farm. Come on, he's gone. Now those combines are probably gonna need emptying. Uh, hopefully we can get this up there, jump in, a tr in the truck, get them emptied. Because I think we're gonna just store the grain and take it in one hit. Because I'm not sure if, now on FS17 used to be at a given, um, I think it was an hour. You used to be able to sell something and have an hour and the price went and dropped, but now I think it does it pretty instantly. So if we got nearly 3,000, it might pay to go and get another, go and rent another trailer and double drop them at, at the same time. So we think we'll have to have a look at that because we want to get maximum money. Now, hopefully those harvesters should be on the way back down. And I always miss a bit when I start off, so this time we're going to do a good overlap and we're not going to miss any of it. But I might just wait. Pull him up a little bit. Because he's going to come back down and destroy that crop. So let's leave him there. Let's have a quick look. He's 10,000 and he's 12,000 on his way back down so that's it we nearly got half the field we can crack on with so he can work need to get a bit of seed bit of fertilizer I should have just used the worker really use the options so the worker buys it oh well let's put it in 
because he's going to use more than a thousand of each, I know that. I do love these masses, very nice looking tractor. Wow! But you should be looking forwards. Yeah, okay. Sorry, let's just hope the train's not going to be coming. As I was saying, I do love these masses. They're nice, nice tractors. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not going to go any faster than 20 mile an hour. Pulling that up there though. Right, we do the cotton selection now. So we don't forget. So the plan is get the soil beans done and put cotton in the ground and then fast forward. I've still got the other fields but they're only half grown at the moment. So they're gonna need um well another 24 hours before the soya beans ready there I think this cotton will be nearly ready by the time the soya beans are nearly right so he is only going at I think he's yeah seven, 8 mile an hour so that's fine he's going at 8 he's nearly full Come see that one. Let's check on the cultivator. Yeah, he's on his way back down. But he has left a bit at the top, which I better go and sort out. Otherwise, it's not going to get planted. I got this massive cart of air and I still was just going to go off the line there. Right, he should be fine now. You've just got to always make sure there's a vehicle in between this cultivator and your harvester. Because sometimes you, you can be coming down a row and the harvester is coming up that row and you just take the whole whole crop out. Where am I going? I'm not there, I'm down there. Now the planter's right up at my arse. Perhaps I should have got a bit more power. It says 400 and I got 409. And he's away. Why did you stop all the way there? We'll have to go and rectify that later.
Right, so that's one run. So we'll let him come back down on that pass, and if we start him off on the next one, they shouldn't get into trouble. And we're up to 46,000. And that's a full load over there, which is another 17,000. So that's nearly 60,000. So we might get double that, maybe a little bit more. It'd be nice to get double at least. That cedar is getting close to the cultivator. The cultivator should be running, he's doing 10 mile an hour and the cedar is doing 8 mile an hour so they shouldn't run e into each other. Right, we got a full load. Who's blocked by an object? Nobody is. Right, we will go up to store in the grain elevator. I've just driven through those crops again. Why do I keep doing that? No, we don't want to sell here. Whoa, that's it. Start overloading is what we want to do. Cool, that's done. Right, let's just check and make sure they're planting, they're doing everything they're right. Yeah, what about fertilization? Are they being fertilized? Yes, they are. Everything's going cool. I like doing things this way, that way you can as you're harvesting, you're putting crop right back in the ground and you're not wasting any time with it. Your field's doing nothing. You get maximum money out of your fields this way. The cultivator does look like he's storming ahead a little bit now. Right, I think we'll go and put this on a time lapse. Back in a minute.
Righto, that's done. Didn't take too long, about 45 minutes or so. And we managed to get two and a bit trailers. Which if we go into have a look in the silo, we will have, we've got 122,232. Now the price is still 2914 at the restaurant. Now I can see the future because I've already fast forward time and it went up to 28, 2985. So we're just gonna wait till that price and sell it at that. So I might as well fill a trailer load up while I'm here because I'm not sure whether to fill well what I wanted to do is actually go and sell sell this one um, I think I will save the game probably start All right, so we fill. So we've got just over two trailers. I tell you what, we don't want to sell all of everything at once. Although we got a good price, I think we're just going to sell a trailer because one trailer is going to generate. You get nearly three thousand each, so it's going to be under under an eighty thousand. But that's just one trailer, and that would even pay now to go and get another cultivator with tractor because so far they've reached about half oh and what have we got going on down here we seem to have an accident it's the first time I've seen him down there but yep he is stuck I don't even think we're reversing out of that. Wow, that bit of grind I never noticed. It was down that low before. Yeah, it might it'd pay to go and get another cedar at least. I think the cultivator can probably stay ahead as long as he doesn't crash like he does. Right, let's start him off. He should be able to carry on with that. And seeding wise, we're there. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is uh, just over half, just under half. So I think we're going to get another Massey and another Cedar and we can get this field done because I wanna that price 2916 now now as soon as it gets to 2985 we're going to sell that so let's go to the shop and we want another planter one of those at least that and then we get another tractor because if we get another Massey it's exactly the it's only one slot yeah we'll have a Massey at least that you do not have enough money we do now Lease, lease, and there she is. Right, let's get this one up to join the party. I won't bother putting any seed in it because we got the worker working. Yeah, and we're into the minus now. We're in minus money. Which means the worker might not work. 
Well, you probably will. Now we've got quite a bit of missed areas here. I don't know why he's done this. That's workers for you. Looks like it's going to fill that up nicely, though. Yeah, but there's a bit there not done as well. Just there. Now where is the other cedar? He's down at the bottom. Just want to make sure he's overlapping not too much. Yeah, see, you, you can go over a little bit more on that. I'm going to miss a big line going down there now. No, that's fine. He's going to work. I think I'll do you by hand. You struggle to turn that thing around there. Right, so he's away again. He's tidied up those loose ends. That looks all done. So we've got another one coming back on that strip there now. So I think what we do is we start this one off over here oh nearly put in corn cotton is what we want now just go in and make sure everything's fine yeah so the fertilizer state's going in and it should be all white. Yep, it is all white. We've still got some missed bits down the bottom there. Don't know why that is. Right, I'll go and get this finished and i will see you after because then we should should be able to go and make some money it's 2920 so it's nearly up to 285 so hopefully by the time this field is seeded we can go and make put that money back in the bank all right see you in a minute
job. All done. Well, nearly, last little bit. I don't know what that worker's doing down there. He just finished off that strip. I think he's just after the overtime as we're paying a little bit more money because it's gone six o'clock. Yeah, where is he going? Right, that one's finished. Yeah, and he's just stopped in the middle of the field. But it's all done. We check on the map. That should all be nice and blue. We've got a few bits down the bottom we missed. Yeah, he seems they seem to always miss a little bit here and a little bit there. And if you don't see it, then that's it. See, I don't know why he stops there. Oh, that is a little bit wider than... Okay, so wonder why he left that area. Let's see if he'll... Yeah, he will seed it now. So why did you leave it for? I checked all the top end, the top end I've filled all the little bits in up there. And there just seems to be a little strip there. And then we can go and sell some soybeans and actually make a bit of money. So we have been making quite decent money uh, on the last few episodes now. And I think that's going to continue, especially when we get this cotton harvest. All done. Check on the map now. Yeah, there's a few little bits there it's not happy with, but I don't care. We will leave it as it is. Now let's go into the man. Check the price. 935. I'll tell you what, I'm just because I know it does go up a little bit further than that. Let's fast forward time a little bit. Right, so now we have a price of 92955. And that will do for me. I'm not sure if it might be too late to sell. Uh, we want to go to the restaurant. Front. Uh, I think it's right in the back of there, isn't it? And there it is. start overloading we want to sell and there's the money going up that's not bad one trailer 174,362 so that's pretty pretty good going now we look at the price, and the price still hasn't dropped, so I could go and get another trader and bring it down. But I think we're gonna we're gonna leave that in there. It's always nice to keep a bit of crop. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode where we've actually managed to get a harvest done and a bit of sowing at the same time. 
it's nice to kill two birds with one stone because now we're fast forward a bit of time we still got soya beans down at on the other fields i've got left down um which fields is it it's number 24 25 26 um, so that all going to need harvesting and also the cotton but at least the cotton is in the ground and that's the one what's going to generate us a lot of money so okay thanks for watching don't forget to check out my other videos and if you like enjoyed the video today give me a like and if you want to see more content then hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any future videos being released. I try and release videos on a daily basis. I try to, most days, most days I can succeed, some days I can't, but there you go. All right, thanks for watching, till the next time, goodbye.